Okay, let's do it. Episode two of starting an agency from scratch. I don't know if I've named the agency series by now, but yeah, I'm starting an agency from scratch. If you didn't watch episode one, I wanna to prove to you guys that it doesn't take a long time for you to sign up your first client. I'm literally documenting the entire process of getting your first SMMA client. In fact, let me dive into what we have done so far. If you haven't yet watched episode one, go and watch it. Because what we did is we laid all the foundations. We chose a niche. We established ICP, which is the ideal customer profile, the exact kind of customer we wanna reach out to. We decided on our SMMA service and our offer our agency name and we also used AI chat GPT as much as possible to get rid of all the time-consuming tasks we created a logo and created a website and I did all of this in one day in one video as well so today what we're doing is we're getting clients so we're going to be going through lead generation I need to build a lead list of all the companies that we're going to reach out to we're going to build out an outreach strategy I don't yet know whether we're going to be doing emails cold calls and DMs probably a mix of these things. Um, that's gonna really tie us in for today. I mean, there's quite a lot. We're gonna do all the lead generation and our first batch of outreach, set a couple of meetings, hopefully, and then record those meetings for the next step, next video, and hopefully sign up a client. And then we're gonna move on to delivering results, onboarding a client, developing an offer for them, establishing their ICP, building a marketing plan for them, launching their ads, and getting them some incredible results. Nothing like this has been done on YouTube before. I wanna put my money where my mouth is and show you guys exactly what it takes to actually going out there and sign your first client. I'm not leveraging any assets that I've developed from building a multi seven figure agency over the years and helping over 2,500 people start their agencies. I'm not using any of those assets. I'm doing this as if I was one of you guys coming fresh into this uh, industry. So let me show you what we've got going on so far. This is what we've created. Agency name is Reno Reach, okay? We're playing off the renovation. We're going for the home improvement industry, okay? So Reno being renovation abbreviated, Reach being marketing, obviously and we've got this tagline your reno our reach a lot of this has come up by uh, chat gpt you should go watch the process if you haven't it was pretty cool we're going to be location norwich norfolk in the uk this is where i live i always recommend new site agency owners to be reaching out to local businesses to start off with and of course i'm not going to break that rule service wise we're going to be going for meta ad this is going to be a lead gen service okay we want to be generating leads uh, maybe a bit of appointment setting for the home improvements in east niche so our icp which is our ideal i'll write this down so you know that for reference ideal customer profile company size one to ten employees so we're going for the smaller end of the business we don't really be going for the big ones just yet we're starting out revenue wise anything from 20k plus per month even 10k plus per month to be honest it would be relatively suitable so yeah 10 20k per month Decision maker is going to be owner, founder, MD. Their pain points is going to be high quality lead flow, whether they've got budget as well. They need to be people that are quote ready, people that uh, can actually afford their services. So we're talking about kind of kitchen and bathrooms, home improvements. We're talking about solar. We're talking about landscapers, all these businesses that come under home improvements. Another pain point is content creation. They don't have the time. They're very busy you know, mastering their craft, actually doing the work. They're not thinking about taking photos for social media. Branding and website, reputation reviews, business goals, delivery a good service making money obviously and some of the bottlenecks are that they're a relatively tech phobic industry i don't know what it's like in the rest of the world but certainly in the uk the home improvements industry is one that is yet to be digitalized as per se many of these businesses don't even have a website so they are tech phobic and that might be an issue when it comes to actually running ads i have no clue how these guys are going to react to this lots of one-man bands around as well so i imagine when we're doing our outreach we're going to have to we're going to be doing a lot of qualification and speaking to people that can't necessarily afford our service or we need to go through some mental barriers and help them think about expanding the business potentially and also understaffed uh, there's an employment crisis in the uk when it comes to labor at the moment and yeah they're at a shortage so i wonder whether this will be an issue offer we're building out is we simplify growth for home improvement companies by sourcing quote ready leads with no heavy lifting required get 10 qualified leads within 30 days or you don't pay so we've got a direct uh, risk reversal in there as well and then we've got some of the copy that we've written for our website in fact i'll show you the website this this is what we've got simple landing page simple opt-in page effortless business growth we generate quote ready home improvement leads for you no heavy lifting required so we're playing off all these kind of different old copywriting and uh, attachments ncp fucking hell i can't get my words out we're playing on words based on their industry whatever get more leads this is the call to action button they press that it brings up the pop-up get 10 quote ready leads within 30 days or you don't pay quick who are we our process again call to action with the order for uh, with the booking form there and then we've just got a couple of credibility icons at the bottom of the page. Let's jump straight into this lesson. And what we're gonna do is we can carry on the same suit and we'll be marking these off as we are working on them. 
So lead generation. I suppose the first thing we need to do is know what leads we're actually gonna be reaching out to because home improvement niche is pretty broad and I'm pretty sure we haven't already identified a sub niche. No, we haven't. So we need to identify a sub niche really. And to do that, I'm gonna actually use ChatGPT to help us out here. You give me some sub niches within home improvements. Okay, my gut tells me like things like Kitchen and bathroom showrooms would be a good one to go on. Kitchen renovations, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> bathroom, there you go. Basement finishings, not something we have in the UK. Outdoor living improvement. So kind of landscapers. I think landscaping could be a good one at the moment. It's like, it's we've just hit summer. Today's the first day of summer in the UK. Yeah, landscaping is gonna be a good one as well. Flooring, roofing. So I think like what we're probably gonna do, and I'll write this, we'll keep this all on here. Initial sub niche, we're gonna do kitchen and bathroom fitters landscapers this will give us enough for what we're going to be doing for the purpose of this series but let's put flooring down as well we could do solo as well so this will be enough for us to go on i'd recommend picking three sub niches anyway when you're first starting out so you've got your overall niche which might be health and then within that you've got personal trainers you might have acupuncture you might have private healthcare uh, hospitals whatever but you want to pick some sub niches and don't just want to be going completely broad straight away so we've got our three here kitchen and bathroom fitters landscapers and solar most obvious place to go is google maps google is our friend it's the easiest place to find leads so if we go i'm just going to do kitchens as the keyword kitchens norwich so we've got kitchen shops kitchen renovator cool there's quite a lot of these. Some of these are gonna be corporate companies. So I'm looking at these, I'm recognizing some of these names like Howden's. I'm pretty sure this is a, a, a corporate company. Let's just have a look at this. Howden's Norwich. So like you see, this is like a multi-location find a depot. So this isn't gonna be suitable, but something like the Annex, these guys definitely would be suitable. Handmade Kitchens Norfolk. This is the kind of the perfect kind of client that we wanna be reaching out to right now. Now we can go through this list and manually take the data, put it in a lead list. And that's what many people do, but I'm on a time limit here and I want this to be as time effective as possible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use software. So I already have a tool called da uh, Data Scraper installed, uh, actually it should be called Data Mine. Miner. Is that right? Data miner? Yeah, data miner. Okay, data scraper is the add on. I recommend you checking this out. It gives you the ability to scrape data from any website, basically. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to select a recipe. What I don't have the time to do is show you how to set up data miner right now. That's take away from the rest of this video, but you can go watch a video on YouTube about it. If we do advanced scrape, let's have a look at this. And we're gonna do next page automation, which means it's gonna go through all the pages. And we're gonna do scrape 10 pages. So it's actually scraped four pages. There's four pages of kitchen and bathroom showrooms in Norwich. And we've got 37 rows. So there's 37 different companies. So we're gonna hit download. And we're gonna do this as a CSV file. And what I'm gonna do is go over to Google Sheets and create a new lead list. So it's just gonna act as our lead database. Okay, so info, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to do contact name because we need the business owner's details. We're gonna do business name, website, phone number, email. We'll do that for now. There'll be things that we're gonna wanna add to this. Location, and let's do sub niche as well. And if we go file and we import that CSV that we just downloaded. What information has this scraped? Not, we haven't got all the information that I want here. Let's go over to data scraper again. Let's just check. Okay, it's actually only taking the rating reviews category. It's not giving me the website. Find a different one. Ah, this is what I want. We've got the website now. We've got the phone number, address, and so on. Uh, we're going to do this one manually. So. so it's actually 77 companies that are coming up. And if I import that. Okay, it's more like it. Okay, what I'm then gonna then do is do bathroom fitters Norwich as well. Now, a lot of these companies will, there will be some of these which will be crossover, which is absolutely fine. We can do a duplicate search on Google Sheets to get rid of those. So we'll take those. In fact, I'm gonna sack the bathroom thing off. Mm. No, we will do the bathroom. Okay, cool. So now we've just scraped 164 companies from Google Maps under five minutes, but some of these are gonna be duplicate. So I wanna run a duplicate check on here. So uh, if we do find data, data cleanup, remove duplicates, data has a row, has a header row. And if we do that, 32 duplicates, get rid. Sweet, 
So now there are no duplicates on this. So it's 132 companies. I'm not even gonna bother with landscapers at this stage because this is more than enough for us. For a, This is gonna get whittled down even more. We need to find business owners details now. It's gonna be more than enough for, for this task at hand here. But I'd always recommend you getting around 100 leads before you start doing outreach. Get a good 100 leads on your database. But we actually wanna take these companies. What I'm now gonna do is gonna manually go through each of these and just get rid of the ones which aren't suitable. And then we can assess whether or not we wanna have landscapers on this list. So if you open up, if I'm open up all these websites. Dream Doors, this looks like a large company. So this Hawthorne, this looks like a local business. Let's have a look. This is a local company. They're a good lead, cool. I keep them on. Dream Doors. Get in touch with our showroom. See, like this is a this is a big company. Yeah, different showrooms. So I'm gonna get rid of them. And in fact, you can just kind of work through this list. If you just hold down Command if you're on Mac, open up that website, open up this one, and so on, and just smash through them. I know I can get rid of Howden's. Hawthorne's already on there. NBK's up there. Gonna get rid of this one. Supreme Bathroom and Kitchen Center. Shout out, this is one of my first ever clients. I think like my third client when I first started my agency five years ago. And sometimes you've got companies like this that judging by the website are pretty small if I actually look into these guys a little bit. I've got one Google review. Yeah, it's a pretty small company. So these guys aren't gonna be suitable. <laughs> Tell you what, I forget how laborious manual lead generation is. <laughs> it's a slog. Usually what I would do in this situation, like well, obviously like now in our agency, we just have a lead generation team and they just will go and do this themselves. Like when you're first starting out, you're gonna have to go and manually filter through this information. Like just basically getting rid of any company that you think is too small, is potentially unsuitable. And you don't wanna be too strict with this because like you can, if anything, like you can just practice your cold calling and so on uh, when you're actually speaking to people. But like, for example, this website here, website designed on Wix, like is a hotmail email address. It's got a mobile number there, great mobile number, but this person isn't gonna be making 10K a month. Like there's, there's no chance. So in this instance, we'd like get rid of that. But yeah, it's a, it's time consuming, but I'm gonna get through all of these and then we're gonna go to finding the business owner's details. I mean, look at this, like what is this website? Look at this. For a web development agency, you should be calling up these companies, booking in meetings and selling these people. It doesn't have to be a high cost package. Even some of these businesses are making a low amount of revenue. Just do a quick 1K landing page, templatize it, sell it to a bunch of these people. Like you'll clean up. There's so many of these bad websites here and you only need to compare them to one of their competitors who's got a really nice website for them to see the value in it. Yeah, Norwich based agencies, what are you doing? Okay, so we've actually now just whittled that list down to 35 leads, 35 companies, and this is still haven't, we still haven't found business owners details. So, and that is with me being extra picky, mainly because I don't want to waste time on this, uh, on this day, doing this outreach, recording this video. Some of you guys will want to keep other companies on there that maybe don't look suitable on face value, but it's worth you just testing them out. So if anything else, you're just getting practice on your cold calls, right? All of that experience is a valuable experience when you're first starting up. But for me, I'm being extra fussy here because I want to, I want to have valuable use of this time seeing as we're condensing it all down into one day. Right, so we should have enough leads on here to get us going for today. Generally, I'd advise you having over 100 leads on your list. Um, so in your case, you would go and continue um, building this out. And what I want to do is now find the business owner's details. The quickest way I'm going to do this is using a tool called snov.io to actually identify the business owner's name if they're on LinkedIn and so on. Um, not all the people will be able to find this way. Some of them will have to do manually. But if I log in, I'll show you how we do this. Uh, so if we go over to on the left hand side and we're going to do domain search it's going to be bulk domain search actually we're going to import from a list so if i export this where are we at download csv and then go bulk domain choose and the domain list is website and we want to find prospects let's collect up to three prospects per domain we're going to leave this all open i don't want to I don't want to put any criteria on there. I'm just going to see what company, what people that can be found. Okay, so we found eight prospects here. No results of 30 other domains. That's fine. Let's see the list. So I say, let's create a new list actually. Okay, what have we got? We found some direct email addresses here, which is ideal. So let's just open this up and I'll put this on the left. And then we can put in this information. So. 
So this is actually a lot less leads than I would have liked it to find. This is only eight companies business owners details. But that being said, as we, and we've already established that this is an industry that isn't very tech savvy. These people aren't on LinkedIn, which is why we haven't found them on Snub, which is fine. Some of the niches you guys will be going for, you'll be able to find so many more business owners details. But I think home improvements will be a good niche for us to do with this, so we're gonna crack on. Uh, what I will have to do though, is gonna have to manually find the business owner's details on these websites, and I'll show you doing that. It's gonna sell us back a little bit time-wise again. What this is a good indicator of though, for the people that we have found, is that these companies in particular will be larger companies, potentially, uh, on the list, because these people are on LinkedIn, okay? They're already a little bit more aware of social strategy, so I'm gonna highlight these on the spreadsheet when I'm done and notify that these are really gonna be the ones I'm gonna call up first. So for the rest of these, what we've gotta do is good old fashioned lead generation. So open up a website, route around, okay, about established There we go. What's the email address of this company? So we've got info at See if we can find a direct email. So snov.io have an email finder, Google Chrome extension. No, it's not found anything else. So if there is one kind of easy to find on the internet, Snub will pick it up, but we'll just go for the info app. Generally not ideal, but again, it depends on the industry. Like really depends on the industry that you're working with. If it's an industry which is digitalized, then you're gonna find a lot more direct email addresses. So for this one, I can't find a uh, business owner's name. So if we just go over to Google and put in business name, owners, Norfolk Custom Kitchens, Norfolk Kitchens Limited, is that the same company? Norfolk Kitchens dissolved, no, hopefully not. No, but I've just found a mobile number. Have we already got a mobile number? We do have a mobile number, okay. Maybe if I Google this mobile number, I might be able to find someone. What we can do is look at reviews as well. Have a little look if certain names have been mentioned time and time again. Yeah? You did what? Your first art gallery exhibition. You got invited to your first art gallery exhibition. Yes. Did you? Yeah. Well, where is it? Artique galleries. Yeah. Champagne. Oh. Yeah, and they can bring as many guests to like. Ooh. You're Are you my good? first one. I'm officially a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to bring? Not yet. Why? Okay, maybe. Would you like to come? No, you should go. With Rose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slogging through lead generation right now. Oh, no. No, it's not ideal. I was hoping that I'd be able to man automatically find loads of business owners details using software, but it's such an old industry that I just can't find. Like snob.io, but I'm just, okay. instead, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm basically manually going through it all, which is yeah. fine. Is what it is. Me trying to do. I had 75 leads, I'm now down to 36 who are actually suitable and I'm just going to try and find all the details for these these guys basically. But I'm probably only going to call through 20 companies or so in a couple of hours. So you can see you can find business owners uh, details just by using like this email finder. I didn't know that. I've always used um, email hunter. Yeah, email hunter does the same thing. I just don't find it very good. Oh really? No. Why not? It just often like comes up with no, often comes up without finding them. It, it, yeah, because it can only it can only find what it can. It yeah. Can, yeah. Yeah. You know, like it can it can only find what is available out I there. I guess that's why it's good then using. This will do lead pretty gen much. Lead gen guy because yeah. he'll he can always find everything. So. What lead gen guy? Mahit. Oh yes, fine. Yeah, but I'm not allowed to use Mahit. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Not coming to our art exhibition because you're not cool enough. <laughs> Some of these, interestingly, haven't been found on Snub, but actually do exist. It's because the company name, presumably, is somewhat different. Concept Bathrooms and Kitchens Limited, and then we have Concept Bathroom and Kitchens. And this just cements how important it is to do manual outreach at the start as well. Uh, manual lead gen, because you're going to miss out. You would have missed out if you just relied on software. You would have missed out on In fact, you would have missed out on all these leads. You were trying to do a home improvements in a agency like I am now in Norwich, and you're just relying on software because you're lazy, then you wouldn't get any of these leads. It's so important that, especially in the initial stages and ongoing, you're paying someone to do this or you're doing it yourself, that you do go through manual lead gen because you just miss out on a lot of money and a lot of opportunity. When I'm met with a decision like this, like, do I want to go sales at or admin at email and we can't find a business owner's direct email, I'm always going to go for sales. Sales is going to be the email that's going to be most likely to be open. It's the one they're going to take the most serious. So for admin, it's just going to be, just going to get lost in there. Hello there. Welcome to Jordan Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares. Today we're going to be making 
turkey mint a la Nando sauce with scrambled eggs on the side. Where's the lamb sauce? Come on, man. What the fuck do you mean, where's the lamb sauce? Piss off. So I've started what I would call a keto carnivore diet for like half the day. I avoid carbs altogether until like dinner. And so normally what I would have is like a portion of ground minced beef or like a burger with no bun. Um, I'm doing lean turkey mince this week. I'm trying it out. I think it's okay. Like it's nothing like ground beef. And then I'm having to add like sauce to the turkey mince to give it some flavor. But ground beef, normally I just have that straight up. Maybe a tiny bit of soy sauce put it through it. And then I'll usually have like three scrambled eggs as well for extra protein. But today I've only got one egg. I can't be asked to go down to the shop. So I'm just gonna put a fried egg over top. But I find being in the absence of carbs and using my energy sources as fat, I have so little brain fog in my day. And it's just been an absolute game changer for me. And I'm completely completely got rid of those those afternoon slumps that you have, like mid-afternoon feeling like you need a nap or just getting brain fog like 2, 3 p.m. So for any of you that are feeling that, I'd recommend you avoiding carbs altogether, breakfast and um, lunch. It's been amazing for me. This is the latest bonsai in my collection. This is a Japanese juniper. Just take a second to appreciate how incredible this tree is. It's 60 years old, spent 40 of its years in Japan, has been watered every single day to keep it looking like this. For me, bonsai is the ultimate symbol of discipline and it reflects business in so many ways. You've got to make sure your foundations are there. You've got to make sure that you're selling daily, you're watering every single day. If not, the business will die. You have to groom it and prune it and look after your service delivery, look after your clients. Most people can't keep a plant alive for six days, let alone 60 years. And so for me, this is that daily reminder of discipline. It's consistency over time that creates a successful business. You can't hack your way there. And if you can, then it won't last. Okay, let's do this. Where were we? So lead gens out of the way, thank God. Uh, let's move on to building the outreach strategy. So um, as a new start agency, there are, there are three main ways that we can tackle this. And we can do this through AI tools, automation, different platforms on DMs. We can send messages on Instagram, on LinkedIn are the most popular, followed by places like Facebook and then alternative platforms like Pinterest, Twitter if you're an e-com and then even TikTok you can do DMs on now. We're definitely going to be doing cold calls. This is without a doubt the easiest way, the quickest way to get meetings when you're first starting out. We're on limited time so I want to make sure that we get some meetings booked in. It's also the scariest <laughs> outreach strategy uh, but it's a necessary evil. It puts you in a place of discomfort which is going to force you uh, into learning something new and it's going to make you a better business owner all around. Now I haven't made cold calls in months so I'm probably going to be a little bit rusty. It'll be a humbling experience in itself but I want you to see that. Emails, bread and butter, absolutely non-negotiable. Anyone can send emails, so it's just a baseline strategy. It's not one you should rely on as your, as your only strategy, but it's a baseline strategy, so we'll definitely be doing that. And I think I'm probably gonna avoid DMs. I'll explain why. Uh, so I've got a personal brand, obviously, and uh, we have to pay intellectual property lawyers on retainer for the amount of fake accounts that we have popping up every single day. So if I make a fake account, Got to put content on there. It's probably going to get taken down by the IP lawyers anyway. Uh, and plus, it's going to create a confusing message for anybody that doesn't know I'm promoting this series. Joint by the fact that it's an unfair advantage. If I send a DM to someone, they Google my name, they're going to know who I am on based on my other social media platforms. They're going to be more likely to have a meeting with me and kind of it's counterintuitive to the point I'm doing this series in the first place. So we're going to stick with just cold calls and emails. And I would expect from, what have we got on our lead list? 30 leads. Anything from one to three meetings, depending on the conversion rate. And I reckon we can do that just from cold calls. So hopefully emails can bolster up those numbers as well. So let's jump into this. Build the outreach strategy. The first thing we actually need to do for this is have some scripts. So if I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of direct messages. Um, so if we're gonna do cold calls, we're gonna do emails. First of all, I'm gonna write a cold call in script and then we'll do the cold calls. Get the cold calls out of the way, first of all. It's not a fun task. So if you put it off, till the afternoon, you're not gonna do it. So you have to get it out of the way, first of all. So I'm gonna do this first, I'm gonna write a cold calling script, do some cold calls, and then we'll do the email script and send some emails. 
So let's focus on this first. Now I'm gonna get up the Notion board again. Uh, now I actually, if you haven't seen already, recorded a live cold calling video on YouTube where I called on behalf of one of our students in the Affluent Academy who won a competition. Um, and then we secured a couple of meetings for him in 20 dials. I wrote a cold calling script for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that script and we're gonna build it off the back of that. So I'm gonna copy this and put it in our workplace. I create a new page at the bottom here paste that in. So this is the script that I wrote for Mo. Uh, he was targeting aesthetic clinics in the UK with an offer of 15 new qualified appointments booked in or you don't pay. And we've got the script format here. So what I'm actually gonna do is just go ahead and call call in a script. This is within Reno Reach and change the information on screen and we'll work through this now. So the niche is obviously home improvements. The offer is gonna be five new, uh, five quote ready, uh, Leads within 30 days, or you don't pay. Service is going to be Facebook lead gen ads plus appointment setting. It's actually the same, and the agency is going to be Reno Reach. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some gatekeeper objections. A gatekeeper is the person that picks up the phone that isn't the business owner, but is the receptionist or something like that. We want to get past them, um, so it's always good to have some prompts that you can quick fire on, especially if you haven't cold called ever or in a while. You need to. Um, refresh your memory with things to come back from. So if someone says, where are you calling from? I'm just gonna say Norwich, okay? I'm not gonna say Renault Reach, okay? Um, we wanna be as vague as possible. Generally with gatekeepers, we wanna be as vague as possible. You know, we probably actually haven't got time to go through some proper training right now. So I'd recommend, I will maybe put some links in the description and you can go through and watch previous videos that I've put out around cold calling. Cause if not, I'm not gonna be able to get all the list done today. So what company, I'm not calling from a company. What is it regarding? Getting you guys five more quote ready leads over the next month or so. Uh, can I take a message? No, not at this time. The things I would like to discuss are a little complex to leave in a message. Maybe you could help me. When would be a good time for me to reach the name? business owner's name for literally two minutes. So we're always diffusing. That's kind of the message of a gatekeeper. Like whatever question they're asking, we're kind of batting it off and just saying, oh, trying to get further information. When can I call them back? Do you have an email address? Do you have a phone number? And so on. Can you send an email? Honestly, this is something pretty time sensitive. I'm only looking for one in the Norwich area. So I'd rather call back later if there's a better time. This is kind of counterintuitive to this one. I'm gonna add another one in here. Name already has one. That's all good. Is that a better time to take this? Maybe you could help me. Okay, to the script. Hi, is it name I'm speaking to? We always want to make sure that we're getting hold of the right person. This is the business owner we're speaking to. We don't want to be handed off to someone else who, is, who can't make decisions. Jordan here, I know you're busy, so I'll be quick. Diffuse them straight away. I do have a script video on YouTube where I go through this in a lot more detail. Go and watch it. Um, but yeah, we want to diffuse them so they don't, they're disarmed. Could you handle another five quote ready leads right now if it's a negative response look okay before you hang up i'm not trying to sell you anything right now i just want to arrange a time where we can have a quick 50 minute meeting get past this awkward cold call stage and i can share some ideas with you no obligations if you like you can take my ideas and implement them yourself so the psychology behind this is we're like look just give me a minute i'm not trying to sell you anything right now i just want a little bit of your time there's no obligations i can share some ideas with you so we're hooking them in on the fact that they're going to get some free information from us we're not going to try and sell to them and we're just really trying to diffuse them it's all you want to do you don't ever want to come across aggressive on a cold call they're yeah, positive awesome i help home improvement businesses get more clients booked in uh, get more quote ready leads without having to do anything extra themselves. I generate the leads, then call them on your behalf to make sure they're ready for a quote. Contact them on your behalf to make sure they're ready for a quote. I'm so confident this will work for you that if I don't get you clients, you wouldn't have to pay me anything. Would that be worth a quick chat? I'm so confident this will work with you. I'm gonna make that shorter. And if I don't get you at least five quote ready leads, you wouldn't have to pay me anything. Would that be worth a quick chat to you? So this is what I call an elevator pitch. It's basically if you're in an elevator with someone you need to sell your service to them quick and tell them exactly what you do, this is the statement. And you wanna have it as short as humanly possible on a cold call. I help home improvement businesses get more quote ready leads without them having to do anything extra themselves. So I generate the leads for you. I then contact them on your behalf to make sure they're quite ready for a quote. And if I don't get you at least five quote ready leads, you wouldn't have to pay me anything. Would that be worth a quick chat to you? Okay, simple. Don't copy and paste this, by the way, guys. You need to write in your own tonality and just understand the psychology behind what you're saying. So we use a combination of paid ads to generate the leads, and then we manually engage in conversation, and we book in the appointments on your half. That's not what we're gonna do. Um, and manually engage in conversation to make sure they're not time wasters, okay? Because that's what they're gonna be, that's why we're doing the quote ready thing. And then we hand 
them off to you. I'd love to run through all of it in more detail with you. Have you got 15 minutes free early next week or over the next couple of days? So we're just, again, being as vague as possible. It's a very top level understanding. And then we're just trying to push into a meeting. Never get pressured into pitching on the phone. Never get pressured into going through the price. When we do the cold calls, I'm not going to put any ejection handling on here. When we do the cold calls, you'll hear some ejection handling. People will push back. People might not be happy. It might make a few mistakes. We'll see. And then you'll get a better of idea of how I can actually secure meetings off the back of people rejecting. But you want a baseline script on screen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this script and I'm gonna put it over. I've got, I don't know if you've already seen, one of my monitors is not working today, another one's coming tomorrow. I've got a small portable monitor on my desk. So I've got a dual screen set up. One screen's gonna have the leads on screen. Next one is gonna have the script. So I can revert to the script if I want to, but then also just smash through the dials uh, on the other screen. A lot of people ask what call software we recommend. Now at affluent.co we use just call. It's because we've got a team of people that are making dials all the time. And so it's really great for data tracking and also at looking at call recordings and so on automatically. I'm gonna use this on a mobile app so it won't show my mobile phone number. People won't get a hold of that. When you're first starting out though, you can just use your mobile phone number. People will have access to it though, obviously. You could also use Skype call as well and even go high level as functionality to make calls too. So. And the last thing I'm going to do and I always recommend doing is getting your head straight before you start cold calling. Plug in your headphones, do a quick meditation, clear your mind from all the stuff that's already happened in the day. It's been a long day as it is doing all the out lead generation and recording video takes out of you as it is. So I need to get my head straight. I'm going to do this meditation and we're going to start smashing the phones. Okay, so no answer on that one. I need to add a notes section on this database so I can add notes as I go along. The mark that's orange and put uh, no answer. In fact, I'm just gonna double dial. It's always good to double dial. Good morning, NBK. Slim speaking. Morning. Could you pop me through, to please? Um, I'm afraid um, he's not actually in the building. Can I ask who's calling? Oh, that's all right. No worries. Um, is is he in this at all today? Uh, let me just double check on his calendar for you. Uh, can I ask who's calling? Yes, my name is Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Uh, I think he's at head off headquarters today. Okay. Is there a message I can give him at all? No, it's it's absolutely fine. So it's a little bit time sensitive though. Um, I I wondered if there's a better way that I could reach him. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah, he got it, he got an email from me yesterday. It's okay. Um, is is he normally due in the Norwich office, or is he normally based in this? Uh, he's actually um, in this, but then he could actually be on site. So fine. Um, it depends on his calendar dates, really. Okay. Um, he could be at our head, head headquarters. He could be in this. He could be on site um, with customers. Not a so problem. Um, can I give him a message or? No, it, it's absolutely fine. He's got an email from me anyway. Um, but would you say it's worth calling up this or, or would that be a waste of time if he's out today? Yeah, he's not at this yeah, today. Yeah, fine. Yeah. No, that's no problem at all. That's all right. I'll, I'll, try, I'll try later in the week. I appreciate your time. Okay, then. Thank <laughs> Take you. care. Bye-bye. Thank you. A little bit rusty for the first call. Just want to generally just kind of avoid, I don't want to leave a message. Uh, I don't want to give them kind of any information about, or give them any fuel to then not let me through in the future. So I'm gonna update the notes. So it's always worth double dialing. So I'm adding these notes, but I'm not gonna be calling <laughs> back because I want to get a meeting out of these calls today. Okay, let's move straight on to the rest. I'm gonna add notes as if I was one of you guys though doing this, okay, because I've only got one day of outreach here for this series, uh, but you guys would want to call them call back. Okay, you don't just quit. And now you know he's not in the office. Welcome. Please note that all our calls are recorded for training and monitoring purposes. Please 
please hold and one of the team will be with you shortly. Morning. Morning, could you pop me through to please? Yeah, that's myself. Ah, oh, hi, how are you doing? My name's Jordan, I know you're busy, so uh, I'll be quick. I just wondered whether you guys could handle another five quotes at the moment. Uh, handle what, sorry? I wondered if you guys could handle another five or so quote requests over the next month. What it is, is I run a business called Reno Reach where I help kitchen and bathroom showrooms get more quote requests in and I get all the leads for you. I then make sure they're quote ready and qualify them. There's no risk to yourself. If I don't generate you at least five to 10 in a month, you wouldn't pay me absolutely anything. So I just wanted to see if that would be worth a chat to you. Yeah, I wouldn't be the person to talk to. Um, okay. How did you get my name in the first place, sorry? Uh, I just got your name online from your website. I'm pretty sure it's on your about page. Gotcha, okay. Hold on one second, let me just speak to my colleague. That's all right. So it looks like it's not actually the owner of the business. I have no clue why. Hi there. Um, sorry, Hiya. I just spoke to my colleague, um, uh, who's uh, part of the family that owns the business. Okay. Um, but because of the, the fact that obviously the company's been here like 20 odd years and, and we're lucky enough to have a, a really good reputation, we don't really need any more um, business income. And um, we're quite lucky in that respect, I suppose, even though obviously the market is quite challenging at the minute, we're still getting enough inquiries and, uh, and enough turnover that um, to not really warrant any additional. Uh, yeah. Interest. But obviously, if, if anything changed going forward, then there's no harm in you sending some details across to the sales inbox. So we've got... Um, your company on record so that you know yeah that's that's not a problem at all like maybe you could just help me just for one moment now i just want to understand um a little bit about oh have i lost you oh i must have accident i don't know if i accidentally hang up or they hang up okay fine uh well crucial error there is we didn't speak to the right person okay so I spoke to who is actually just a kitchen consultant so it's not the right person at all actual contact i need to speak to is i'm not going to give up on this one i would generally recommend calling up again Hi, can I speak to please? Speaking. Hi, uh, my name's Jordan. I know you're busy, so I'll be really quick. I just wanted to know whether you guys could handle another five or so quote requests in the next month. Not really, no, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> you're that busy, huh? We're, we're that busy, we're that, we're that good. Why? What, what you, how are you proposing that you can do that? <laughs> well, look, I own a, a local business in Norwich called Reno Reach. We help uh, kitchen and bathroom showrooms get more quotes in. You don't have to do anything extra yourself. I generate the leads for you. I then make sure they're quote ready so they're not going to waste your time. And we're so confident that this works, we put a guarantee on it so you wouldn't pay us unless you actually got those results. Right, I'm busy at the moment. What I suggest you do, if you can give me a phone call back again next week, and then I'll have time to have a chat with you. But okay. we are busy ourselves, but I'm always interested in to, to see how people can produce leads yeah. and, and obviously do it that way. So, yeah, no, give me a phone call back next week when I've got more time. Okay, um, let, me, let, let, me, let me pencil a time in to speak to you next week. Um, that's yeah. better. What, what, time, what time will work for you? Would next Thursday work for you? Next Thursday would work okay, no talk problem at all, yeah. Okay, what time would be best? I'm available all day, so... Probably just in case I play golf in the morning, make it the afternoon. Okay, no problem. Should I say about 2 p.m.? About 2 p.m. would be perfect. Okay, no problem. I'm going to send you an email just, just confirming that. Um, wh yep. What's the best email just for me to reach you on? It's... Awesome. Okay. I look forward to speaking to you next Thursday. All right. Cheers, mate. Take Thank care. Bye -bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. First meeting down on the third call. Um, now... This is one thing, this is something that I imagine we're going to have or we'll run into issues with potentially with people considering the last, couple, uh, the last call as well. People are pretty busy in this area when it comes to home improvements, but they're always open to new opportunity. And this is the thing, I'm quite open to having this conversation or I'm prepared to have the conversation on business expansion. I found this before when I first started my agency. Sometimes when you speak to a company that isn't right in, in the right frame of mind to actually expand, they need to just have a conversation with someone to realize how much opportunity is out there on social by running ads through lead generation for them to really reignite that burning hunger inside them to want to then grow and expand further so we've got our first meeting booked in next thursday 2 p.m let's go good morning morning can i speak to jordan, please speaking oh hi my name's jordan i know you're busy so i'll be really quick uh, i just wondered whether you guys could handle another five quote requests at the minute uh yeah quite easily okay okay so so i help um i own a company called Renault reach i'm in local in norwich actually and I help kitchen and bathroom showrooms get more 
qualified leads every month. I generate them for you and then I also make sure that they're quote ready so they're not going to waste your time. And I'm so confident I can get you results that if I wasn't to, you wouldn't have to pay me absolutely anything. Would that be worth a chat to you? Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay, amazing. Yeah, um, you probably aware if you've been speaking to others, it's quiet yeah. at the moment. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I've, I've had a few conversations and heard the same. So uh, look, I would, I would love to book in another time with you that we can have a proper conversation. I don't know if you've got any available tomorrow, do you? Uh, no, not tomorrow. Okay. No, I'm, actually, I'm actually on site tomorrow um, on Friday. I could do early next week if, if that works better for you. Maybe Tuesday or Wednesday? Tuesday or Wednesday would be fine. That wouldn't be uh, so bad. What kind of time would that be then? <laughs> what, what, whatever works for you. I'm pretty open either Tuesday or Wednesday. And it's either be kind of 9am or sort of 4.30 or 5. What, what, don't, what don't we go for 9am on Wednesday? Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Okay, great. Look, I'm going to send you a, an email just to confirm that. Um, I've got... But is that the best one for me to reach you on or is there a direct one? No, that's, that, that would be the one that comes through. That uh, comes through to, to everything. Okay, no worries so at all. Laptops are all up, so yeah. Okay, great. No worries. Well, I'll send you over a quick invite and uh, if you've got any questions in the meantime, feel free to respond. But if not, have a lovely weekend and I'll speak to you next week. Lovely. Thanks very Perfect. much. Perfect. Cheers. Yeah. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cool. There you go, got another one. So that's a really interesting one. So there's a polarizing conversation there. Jonathan's like, well, I don't know if you've heard, but it's quite quiet at the moment, which is the complete opposite to the call I just had when they said they're really busy. But you want to roll with it. Yeah, I actually have heard that. My pitch was super rusty, actually, because it's Hawthorne Kitchens, and I said kitchen and bathrooms, and that actually threw me off. It's always the first, like, this is the first time I've cold called since the last cold calling video I did a few months ago. And the first, like, three to five cold calls are always rusty. I've done over 100,000 cold calls easily over the years in boiler room, cool rooms, settings, and so on. The first five calls are always super rusty, but we had two meetings in five calls. Unreal. <coughs> Hi, is that <coughs> Hi, uh, my name's Jordan, I know you're busy, so I'll be really quick. I just wondered whether you guys could handle another five or so quote request at the minute. Hang on, let me just turn around. It's all right. Uh, say again, sorry? Can you guys handle another five quote requests at the minute? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, Okay. But, um, Look, how do you mean by quote request? I think, can I just, can I just fill the quote out or do I? No, I mean, I, I, I help. Jobs are just quotes. Yeah, so I mean, I own a company called Reno Reach. I'm based in Norwich. I help renovation companies and home improvements businesses get more quotes without them having to do anything themselves. I basically generate the leads for you and then I make sure that they're not going to waste your time and that they're quote ready. So I'll speak to them first. And if I wasn't to generate you at least five quotes over the next 30 days, understand you're busy at the moment, but maybe you can book them in for the future, then you wouldn't have to pay me anything. All right, so... Would... I get the impression I've caught you, uh, caught you off guard. I, I presume you're, you're on the job at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fine, fine, my apologies. I, I, I found your number online, and I thought it'd be worth giving you a call. Look, I, d I don't want to take your time now, I, I think it would be best if, if, I don't know if you've got time, maybe tomorrow or ne early next week, and we can book in another time and I can run you through things in a bit more detail. All right, yeah, why not? Okay, fine. Does tomorrow work okay for you? Have you got any availability tomorrow? I mean, yeah, I can find some time. When would be best for you? How, how, long, how long would that take? Um, I would say half hour max, probably 15, 20 minutes realistically though. Oh yeah, probably that can squeeze out somewhere. Okay, fine, no worries. Uh, how about, shall we say, 3 p.m. tomorrow? I don't know what your schedule's like. Yeah, no, 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 I'll just, I'll just find a dark time, time anyway, really. Go on, just have to do things about three, three works, I think. Okay, fine. Well, I'll be sat down at my desk, so I want to make sure I call you at a specific time. So if I, if I send a notification over that I'll call at 3 p.m., will you be able to make that? Yeah, that's what we're going, yeah. Okay, brilliant. All right, fantastic. Well, Billy, I look forward to speaking to you tomorrow. If you've got any questions in the meantime, send me over a message, but I appreciate your time. Uh, my name's Jordan. All right. Nice to see you tomorrow, <laughs> Cheers. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> We're on a roll. We're on a roll. We're on the way to the movies, boys. <laughs> Hello? Hi, my fruit. Yes, vegan. Hi, Jordan here. I know you're busy, so I'll be really quick. 
Um, I just wondered whether you guys can handle another five quote requests at the minute. Um, what, what does that entail? I, I, I own a company in Norwich called Renault Reach. I help uh, home improvements businesses get more clients in. I generate the leads for you and then I make sure they're quote ready so they won't waste your time. And um, we're so confident this will work that if you didn't and we didn't get you leads, you wouldn't have to pay us anything. I don't know. Um... I'm, I'm obviously in someone's house fit in a kitchen, so it's not very really easy to talk. <laughs> right, fine. I understand. Um, I, I mean, the customer's hair and it's all complete, completely awkward. Completely um, understand. Is there a better time I can call you back? Well, you can call me sometimes, sort of maybe Friday might be a better day. Okay. I'm, sort of, Is I'm it... having a finishing off bit of bobs and stuff. I'm hoping to have an easier Friday. If you want to, um, can you send me some information about your company and who you are first, and then I can have a look at it? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll send you a quick email, and over, and over that you'll have a, a, a link to my website, um, and yeah. you can see a little bit about us. But I'll give you a call on Friday regardless. Would it be better in the afternoon, say 4 p.m. Yeah, or so? I'm, well, not 4 p.m. I might be in the pub by then. Yeah, about, about two-ish, I think. Okay, no problem at all. Yeah. All right, no worries. I'll send you an email, then I'll call you at two on Friday. Great. Thanks. Take care. Cheers. Cheers bye bye. This is a lot easier than I thought it would be. Why has nobody already done this? That's what I want to know. Of all the fucking people I preach to online in my local area, people I meet out and I'm like, oh, I'll start an agency. Home improvements industry would be good. Bang. Six calls, four meetings. What's your ratio like? And these are rusty calls. Like, this is not my best work. It doesn't need to be. Good afternoon. Can I speak to please? No, that's all right. It's a little bit of a complex of a topic. Um, is there a better time to call back? Is he in later today? I'm not sure what time he'll be back. Can I get him to give you a call? No, that's all right. There's no worries at all. I'll I tell you what I'll do, because I'm out the office all the rest of the day. I'll give a call tomorrow. Right. Who should I say called? Uh, Jordan from Renault Reach. Okay, I'll let him know. All right. No worries. Take care. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, could you pop me through to please? Okay. It'll be back in in the morning. Okay, no worries. Um, I'll give it a call tomorrow morning then. Lovely. Thank Perfect. you. Take care. Bye-bye. Afternoon. Can I speak to... He's not in at the moment. He's calling. No worries. My name's Jordan. Uh, I just wanted... Is there a better time for me to call back? Um, it, well, he's in and out. What was it regarding, mate? Uh, it was just about whether you guys can handle another five quote requests at the minute. We're, we're down until November, mate, to be honest. Okay. No worries at all. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, you have a good one. Take care. Bye bye. Hi, could you pop me through to please? I think you just called, mate. Say it again? You just called me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Apologies. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Bye <laughs> bye. Bye. Okay, that was awkward. <laughs> just managed to call the same company twice. Uh, they got two different companies, two different names, two different phone numbers. Same address though, so it's the same business. Shit happens, move on. Hello? Hi. Yeah. Hi, my name's Jordan. I know you're busy, so I'll be really quick. I just wondered whether you guys could handle another five or so quotes at the minute. Um, no. No, is the answer. Okay, that's all right. Big, big, good problem to have. When are you booked until? I ain't got a lot of work. I just sort of work, but you're talking about it and stuff is really of interest to me. Okay, fair enough. I mean, what about if I just give me 10 seconds and I might be able to change your mind? I'm not interested, mate, because what I charge, there won't be no money left for people like you. In, in, what, as in you, you charge too little? Too much. Too much. I mean, that's definitely not a, a, a problem that I would have. I'd be able to help you guys uh, get some high ticket. But, but look, look, just one, 10 seconds of your time and then you can hang up, but this might be worth your while. Look, I, I, I help home improvements businesses get more leads in and more customers, and I generate the leads for you. I then qualify them to make sure they're not time wasters and they're high quality enough. And if I don't generate you at least five quotes in a month, you don't have to pay me anything. Does that change your mind at all? Only if the quotes come at fruition. If I don't win no work, then I won't be nothing. Yeah. Of, of, well, it would, it, you'd have at least five people that are ready for quotes that are, that, are, that are interested in your services. And that's an under promise. I always, I always plan to over deliver, of course. Um, but yeah, you would have interested parties. Win a single job. Well, we would help you with the appointment setting side of things. We'd be running paid ads from your, for your business to generate leads. So you would, 
And, and from experience, people don't normally raise their hand of interest if they're just going to waste your time. So we, we would hope that you'd close at least a few of those companies or those people, sorry. But what about if I didn't? The answer is, what about if I didn't? Do you get paid regardless? Well, if you are... It, oh, <laughs> If we were to generate you qualified leads, then in theory, yes, we would we would get paid regardless. But if I would want to work with you guys on a yeah, I mean, I would want to work with a company on a long term basis, as we do with all our customers. So if you weren't happy, then I wouldn't charge you for it on the basis of a longer relationship. Yeah, all my if if it all win, I won't be paying commission on stuff I didn't win. Yeah, of course, of course, I, I I completely understand I completely understand that. But I would like to think we'd be able to generate you enough interest for you to definitely get something completed. What's the average value of a job for you guys? Average maybe 15. 15K. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty standard for, the, for the, the things that we do. So, I mean, I, I, look, why, why don't we just have a conversation about this? And if it's something that you want to explore, then then great. And if not, at the very least, you've all you've done is waste an hour of your time, but you could have gained so much from it. What sort of products are you looking at? I mean, is me supplying the fit and as per normal, as I normally would? Yes, so, so basically what we would do is we would run ads on, let's say, Facebook and places like that, and we would, we would look for people that are interested in getting work done on their home at the moment. We'd specialise in whatever your, your flagship service is, so if you prefer doing kitchens and bathrooms, you find the majority of people go for that, then that's what we would go for. Uh, we'd come up with an offer together, and then we'd get people to raise their hand. We'd have a quick chat from them from our end to make sure that they're actually interested and not going to waste your time hand them over to you and then you'd go out and do your quote as you usually would. So just see it as a way of generating you more interest. Um, but we'd be running ads directly for your business. It's not like some backdoor strategy. So there's going to be an element of the cost there, isn't there? If I don't win work, there's some cost somewhere. Look, if, if I would be open to a conversation where if you don't win work, we wouldn't charge you anything. But you would be spending money on advertisement. So you'd have to spend the money on the actual ads themselves. That money wouldn't come to us. But the likelihood of that happening based on experience is extremely low because there are so many people out there, in, especially in this area, that aren't running ads at the moment. And so it's a pretty, it's a pretty blue ocean opportunity in your industry. Yeah, so I've had the B&Qs and all that trying to get me to get involved with them, but because I'm a limited company and all that stuff, and the way I run myself, you know, I, I'm not cheap. Yeah. I'm trying to be a bit cheaper at the moment, too, but the Ubeds don't go away, so. Um, no. No, I completely. I mean, people like me have got at least ten grand a year if they leave their house. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, completely so, understand. Is it, are you are you a one man band or is there a, is are, are you a team of people? Uh, my best mate works for me, and I get everyone else subbies, um, plumbers, electricians, and uh, plasterers are in. But I do the majority of the work. You see, all the fitting, all the tiling, all the flooring, all the kitchen fitting. Fine, um, fine. So I just get in the other trades. Fine, fine. I, I, I completely understand. So, so it'd be, it would be a fair. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Are you, are you making more than twenty or thirty k on a monthly basis at the moment, or? It is average, it's really. The last couple, last year was slow, and I turned two fifty. Yeah. Fine. Um, okay. The uh, year before was busier, and it's exactly the same. But I had probably eight weeks off at Christmas. But to be honest with you, I quite like. I quite like a bit of time off. Yeah, no, I, no, I, I completely understand. Look, like companies like B&Q and how you would have been approached in the past, those companies, as you know, big conglomerates, they're going to generate a load of mass kind of leads that aren't interested in a specific business. I'm not talking about doing that. I'm a local Norwich guy. I own a, my company's called Renault Reach. I only work with home improvement businesses. And we'd be running ads directly to your company. So it's not like I'm selling you leads from some random other company like lots of people like B&Q do. Instead, we'd be actually doing it directly for you. Completely understand if it's not something you want to explore. I'm saying maybe we could just have a quick chat to see if it is something worth going further on. And if not, at the very least, you might get a few ideas that you can run away with and go and do yourself. Quid on lots and lots and lots of flyers, lots of flyers. How much? About five thousand, and I got yeah. one job. Yeah. At the minute, people are the market is a scared market at the moment because um, the interest rates and everything else has changed. I'm looking at loads of work, but the return isn't great. Yeah, no, I, I understand. You're not going to make these people spend money, you see. You you can't personally, you can't do that. I can't, no, I can't make them spend money, but I can hit them where people are buying and people are buying on, and, and recognizing, learning from companies on social media. And that's what I can do. And the thing is with flyers, is it's been done 20 times over by all of your competitors and that's why it doesn't get the results it used to get. 
Whereas social media, especially in Norwich and Norfolk, is really untapped in the home improvements industry. People aren't doing it because generally speaking, and correct me if, if I offend you, most business owners in the home improvements industry aren't very tech savvy. So they don't want to run ads on social media, which is why we started our company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get what you're saying. It's just a cost thing, really. It's just a cost thing. And, yeah. and the other thing that you're being used, you know, they don't, they don't work properly for people like me. You know, they, they just... You know, if something's not there, when I start a kitchen on a Monday, and if that's a two-week job, I'm there for two weeks. I'm not there any longer. It's at Hayden's kitchen, so I know if something's wrong, it's turned around that day, the next day. I don't have to stop or lose any time. B and Q have issues or rent, then I might go back in three weeks on a Wednesday after work, so I can't let a customer down. That's yeah. not me. Yeah. That's not me. I've been, I've been doing I'm 54 now, and I don't run around or have anyone control me. I don't work weekends. I don't. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I, I absolutely understand. Um, okay, well, well, maybe the time isn't right now, but uh, I appreciate your time and listen and hear me out anyway. Um, I obviously wish you all the best for the future, and if anything changes, I'll drop you an email over anyway so you've got my details. Yeah, do that. Do that. Okay. No worries. You have a wonderful weekend and a good end to your week. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Please. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. So, I know for a fact we could continue to push that and get a meet, but they're not a big enough company. It's himself. And it's his brother. I found that out about midway through. That's why I tried to do the financial qualification thing. He's done about 250K in his year. Um, but there are two people in this business and he's 54 years old and probably doesn't have the desire to grow the company any further. Hence why he's 54 years old and only has two people in the company. So it's not worth exploring and we've already got a bunch of meetings. So I don't really want to waste too much time on meetings with people that aren't going to convert. Hi, good morning. Could you put me through to please? She's, she's out on a survey at the moment. Can I help? Or take message or...? Uh, that's okay. It was something I needed to speak to, to her about. Is she back in later today? Yeah, yeah, she will be, yes. Okay, no problem at all. I'll give her a call back this afternoon. Okay, so you, okay. Don't, do you want me to get us to call you or anything? No, it's, it's absolutely fine. I'll, I'll give a call back later. All right, then. Okay, okay. no worries. Still... Take care, have a good one. Bye-bye. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Can I speak to please. Um, he's not here at the moment. He's still not back from his appointment. He should be back at any point, but he's not at the moment. That's Let me look right. to see where he is. That's all right. I can give a little quick call back this afternoon. It is, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, in theory, um, I would have assumed he'd have been back by now, but... Um, He's obviously been delayed, so, um, yeah. What was your name, please? My name's, my name's Jordan. Right. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, I'll give him a call back this afternoon. It's, it's all good. Um, but I've, I've got his email as well, so I'll just drop over an email and then I'll speak to him shortly. Oh, OK. Yeah, you didn't want me to get him to give you a call back? No, that's all right. There's no worries at all. That's absolutely okay. fine. All OK. Right, then. Perfect. Okay. Take care. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good morning. Good morning. Can I speak to please? <laughs> yes. Uh, he's out of the office today. All right, no worries. Is he back in tomorrow? Um, no, he's not. No, he's out today and tomorrow and back Friday. Okay, no worries at all. That's all right, I'll try again on Friday. All right, no problem. All right, take care, you have a good one. Bye-bye. Thanks, bye-bye. Good afternoon. Afternoon, can I speak to please? Um, can I just call him? Uh, yeah, my name's Jordan. Jordan, call him from? Renault Reach. Mellow Reach. Yeah. Mellow Reach. Renault. Like, Renault renovation. Reach. Yeah, that's it. Hey, Mom. Nice, Mom. All right, cheers. Hello, speaking. Hi. Uh, my name's Jordan. I know you guys are probably out on the jobs, so I'll be quick. Um, I just wondered whether you guys could handle another five quotes at the minute. Another what, sorry? Another five quotes or so at the minute. Have, do we have another five quotes? No, I wondered if you could handle another five quotes. Handle another five quotes. Yeah. Uh, well, that's a funny question. So what you're saying is you can get out, so you're saying you can get us leads. Is that what you're saying? Well, 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 yeah. But if you just give me ten seconds before you hang up on me, I might be able to change your opinion on it. So I, I help home improvements businesses get more quote ready leads. I generate the leads for you. I make sure they are quote ready. I'm based in the Norwich area, and if I don't generate you at least five to ten, then you wouldn't have to pay me anything. Yeah. I get leads all the time. Fine. I mean, they could be shit leads, yep. half decent 
decent leads or good leads. So, you know... Uh, yeah. So, you, you, you could say to me, you get me a lead, but that could be like a... You yeah. Know. So, so I, I, I completely understand. I, I, I've... I've experienced it myself as well. I found you guys on, on Trusted Trader. But um, the, the reason I say quote ready is because we do a bit of qualification on our end. They actually speak to the lead, make sure they're not time waste so they actually have budget, get an idea of the kind of project that they want as well before we even hand them off to you. So how do you actually do that then? Well, we'd reach out to them. We'd, we'd, we'd run Facebook ads for you or on Instagram as well. We'd generate leads directly for your business, so not some hypothetical company and then sell them to you. So they know they're coming to you um, already. Uh, then we would reach out to them and have a conversation to pre-qualify them before they get put in your hands so they're not time wasters. And I take it you, these leads would go to other, other companies as well? No, no, no. So we, we, we're essentially an advertising agency. We, whilst we, our focus is lead generation, so we'd be running ads on your behalf for your company. So there'll be some Facebook ads out just for you. We're not going to sell these leads to anyone else. This is just bespoke for you guys directly. Yeah. So you're saying you do that separately to... So yeah. That, okay, so how much is it going to cost? Well, it, I mean, it, it really depends on the kind of position that you guys are in at the moment, to be honest. Um, so I, I would like to have a conversation with you, like a, just 15, 20 minutes over the next couple of days. So if you've got time then, it would be great to have a just quick sit down over a either phone call or video call, and I can just run you through things in more detail. And at the very least, you can hand things over to your web development guy and you can implement things yourself if it's not a good fit for each other. Next week would be okay to have okay. a chat. What's Wednesday morning like for you? Wednesday night, that's been three weeks away, isn't it? Wednesday night, oh, sorry, yeah. You mean the Ign Ignore me, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I could do the fifth. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, but does 10 a.m. work for you? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. All right then, cool. What I'll do is, I'm gonna send you over a, a, just a quick email invite. Are you, will you be around the computer to do a video call or would you prefer phone? All right, cool. Perfect. What's well, your name again? My name's Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. All right, so, cool. Um, so, so you're saying you can, how many leads do you think you could, what, a month you're saying? Well, yeah, I mean, look, I, I'd, I'd rather under promise and over deliver every time. So, I mean, I, I say five to 10 quote ready leads in a month, but I would hope for a lot more than that. Um, I, 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 in this, in the Norwich area, the Norfolk area, there's no, not really any com competition that are running ads actively on social media. So I would hope for an awful lot more than that, um, but I'd rather under promise to you. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Because um, in the day, when I do a kitchen, because well, we're a small family run kitchen business, right? So when I do a lead, depending on, depending on the, depending on what I believe the customer is, if it's a waste of my time, we normally say we charge to do designs and go out this, that and the other. Okay. We need to charge under 50 quid, it's not even really worth charging it, but just get through the time waste. So what I'm saying is I can spend half my, well, if you're saying five to 10 leads potentially a month, plus all the leads I get, you know, that's quite a lot, isn't it? That's, um, yeah. Which, well, which is a bit obviously, but... Yeah, I mean, I mean well, we, could have a, we could have a chat about what, like the mechanics of how exactly you'd want them qualified. You, you'll know more than I will how to identify time wasters. If we need to pull people in on like a, on like a free consultation or so on, in theory, which is a phone call or something first, but then charge them for the in-person quote, then that's something that we could do. So, I mean, there are many ways that we can make sure that people aren't gonna waste time. And we, as a company, we're, we're built not just to send you over leads and just leave you to it. I'll make sure that we pre-qualify them as much as we can. Okay, cool. A no obligation chat, yes? Yes, no obligation, of course. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'll speak to you next Wednesday at 10. Perfect. All right, I'll speak to you next Wednesday. Have a good weekend. Have you got my email address just to confirm? Uh, you, that's a good shout. I mean, I've got your, I've got, I haven't, uh, I've got your info app, but is there a as well? Well, that's the one that goes direct to me. Yeah, cool. All right, no worries at all. I will send over an email then, confirm. Perfect. Take care. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye-bye. Okay. Cool. Interesting call down. So, 
um, we're obviously learning some stuff about the industry. So these guys are on Checker Trade, which is a industry directory. They're obviously getting a lot of leads from there, but they're low quality. They're not getting um, they're not getting people that are actually going and buying. They're getting some time wasters now. I know why that is as a marketer. It's because it isn't, isn't a direct ad, something like a directory. People are just playing everybody off. When you use a directory, you are directly trying to find the cheapest alternative. You're trying to find and you're playing people off each other. Whereas we're going to be running direct ads to this business on Facebook. People who are filling in quote requests is a completely different buying dynamic. So, Hello. Hi, is that? My name's Jordan, I know you're busy, so I'll be quick. I just wondered whether you could handle another five quote requests at the minute. Five what, sorry? Quote requests. Well, man, let me show the winner. That ain't very well, sorry, bud. You're all right. Five new jobs at the minute. I just wondered whether you could handle another five over the next month or so. Well, look, I mean, I'll, I'll be really quick. So I help home improvement companies in the Norfolk area get more clients in so I generate the leads for you and then I make sure they're quote ready so they're not time wasters and if I don't generate you at least five over the next 30 days then you wouldn't have to pay me anything would that be worth a quick chat um I'll be honest with you mate I'm up against it at the minute fair I'm enough 13 back on the road and we're booked till the middle of next year with big stuff and we fit a little bit in between if you know what I mean Amazing. I know it's a good problem to have. Just, just personal question. Do, 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 do are, you, are you open and looking to grow the business at the minute? You're actively looking for more team members and to expand, or are you quite content on where you are? I'm serious. That's my business. I do the run the bay. Make sure everyone's got what they need. I've got someone in the office full time doing what you and I do, basically. Yeah. And I've got another girl who do all the accounts, and then I've got, like I say, every trade, we've got every trade, so we, you know, we plot it, manage, and do everything ourselves. Okay. Uh, obviously, we're always open to ideas and suggestions in the future, but at the minute, we're just, yeah, so up against it, we ain't got the time for anything, but I'll be try again, you know, in a month or a couple of months or whatever, see where we're at. Yeah, there's no problem. Just, 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 out of, out of interest, more than anything else, when, when you, let's say when you're fully booked at the moment, what's the, what's the bottleneck that stops you from taking on more work? Is it just staff and team, like more people to actually do the jobs? What's the, what's the thing that stops you taking on more? No, uh, just me. I don't want to do no more. Fine. Uh, okay. No, that's great. We're, we're content where we are. Yeah. Um, all my lads, all, most of my lads are family and good friends, so yeah. we, we're, we're a mass, massive thing on teamwork. Um, so we're not, you know, really interested in bringing so-called outsiders in. Yeah. Um, you know, we're all happy in what we do. Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. I appreciate your transparency, mate. We work for the money, we work for money but honestly, yeah. I'm not interested in being a, a millionaire. So we're all comfortable, <laughs> if you know what I mean. You are, we're you... comfortable, we're all, we're all enjoy what we do. There's no animosity within the team. That's just, that just works out. <laughs> Yeah, no, that makes that makes perfect sense. Appreciate you being honest. All right, then, mate. Well, thank you. Yeah, we'll do. I'll, I'll call back in a couple of months. Yeah, no worries. No, take care. You have a good one. Cheers, mate. Bye, bye. Cool. So it's a friendly chat. But I wanted to use that as an opportunity just to find out about bottlenecks. As with many businesses, the bottleneck here, and very honest, is himself doesn't want to grow the company any further right now. So. Hi, can I speak to d please? Speaking. Oh, hi, d uh, My name's Jordan. I know you're busy, so I'll be really quick. I just wondered whether you guys could handle another five or so jobs at the moment. Uh, no. Okay. That busy? Um, yeah, we just, uh, for, for the fears we've got, which isn't very many, we're, um, we, our lead time is very long at the moment, but uh, yeah, so we're, we're probably not a good... Uh, Good uh, candidate for you at the moment, buddy. No, I appreciate your call. Not, not, not a problem at all. I appreciate your time. Okay. Okay. Have a good Take one. care. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Hi, afternoon. Can I speak to please? Uh, he's not here today, I'm afraid. He's on holiday. Can I help still? That's all right. Do you know when he's back? Um, he's not back until the tenth. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I'll call back in July. Yeah, no worries. Take care. Bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. How can I help? Afternoon. Could you pop me through to please? He's actually on holiday this week. Oh, no worries. Is he back next week, is he? Uh, yes. Okay, no worries. I'll call back then. All right. All right, Thank take you. care. Bye Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay, so that is 22 dials in an hour and 
20 minutes. Now that we've got five meetings booked in, I'm pretty happy with that. It's a good ratio. Uh, typically, I would say for you guys, like it might be one or two meetings per 20 dials, but it just shows you how many opportunities you can get when you just pick up the phone and start doing some cold calls. It was surprisingly easy to get hold of business owners in this industry, which I kind of wasn't, I don't know if I was expecting that. Yeah, I suppose I was expecting it considering the business owner often quotes out. Uh, that isn't that typical as well, but yeah, that's a very successful hour dialing people. I got rid of a bunch of other people on the list as well, just because I thought looking at the website again, it'd be a little bit too small. And on the basis of speaking to a few of these guys having small businesses, I don't want to waste time on meetings for people that aren't going to convert. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send an email to each of these people confirming the meeting at the time slot and inviting them with a calendar invite. Then I'm going to send some cold emails out to everybody else who didn't get hold of on the phone. Right, so that is cold calls out of the way. Successful session, happy with that. Let's move on to emails, okay? Uh, what's the damage? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 emails to send out from this list. It's fine. Um, I'm actually gonna send them out. So these are the people that we couldn't reach um, for whatever reason, but I'm also gonna send them out to the people that are a hard no as well, like they're too busy until November. Uh, maybe not the one that's too small, but if they're too busy, I'm gonna still send an email just so they've got my details for the future. So if they do change their mind, they can come to me. What I'm gonna do is first of all, let's actually go ahead and write an email script. So if we go back on Notion and on Reno Reach, we'll follow the same premise here. We'll duplicate the cold call script, cold call script and do cold email. Okay, same rules apply. Now, simple format them to follow on email. So we're gonna do, hey, name, personal compliment. So some kind of personalization, curiosity question, which is gonna be about uh, offer. And then we we'll have CTA and signature. So personalization I'll leave open for now. Typically speaking, what we would do is we would look at a business's website and we'd see if we can comment on something. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for them yet, but we'll do that in a moment when we actually come to writing an email and then we'll do it on the spot. Curiosity question could be similar to what we've said on the, the cold call. So if I could get you another five quote ready jobs in the next 30 days or you don't pay anything. I'm confident I could get you another five quote ready jobs or you, or you don't pay anything. Would you be against a quick call over the next few days to discuss? No obligations. You can implement my ideas yourself if you like. I always like to add this, like no obligations. Make sure this is in your tonality to keep this as informal as possible. Uh, kind regards, nice. Keep it informal. This industry is informal, so you, you change the tonality for the industry, but I'm gonna do have a great day. Jordan, managing director, renoreach.com. Cool, because our website is optimized nicely. It shows we're from Norwich. Personalization plus location. Okay, I'm gonna do a personalization, um, plus I'm gonna mention I'm from Norwich because it's gonna be a nice in. So this is a simple script. We might adjust this as we start doing it, um, but this is a nice foundation for us to go on. So I'm gonna go back over to the database now and send an email, put that in. Generally speaking, you wanna keep your emails as short as possible, just straight to the point. Companies get emailed a lot every day by businesses. What we would also do is put like a case study screenshot or something around here just to show that we've recently done this for somebody else. Obviously, we don't have that just starting out. I'm gonna leave, just do Jordan, not Jordan Platten. You would normally do first name, last name, but I don't want people to search me and then I have an unfair advantage. Okay, so personalization wise, let's take this first business and they weren't in the office to try later in the week. So let's go on the website. Typically speaking, we just wanna find something that is gonna be easy for us to mention. So we could go on their reviews, all pretty samey. They don't have blogs in this industry, but they are, I imagine, typically posting results quite often. We want this to be something that we can kind of repeat throughout everybody. So we're just kind of, we're not just for one person mentioning a blog, for another person mentioning. So let's open up their Instagram. My gut tells me probably the right thing to do is mention one of the recent jobs that they've done. Because all these companies could have mentioned jobs. So it should be a relatively quick process to go through each of these and mention one of these. For example, this shower is pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't mention anything, but I could mention it. They only posted a week ago and it's going to be easy to mention this. So I could say something like, hey, stumbled upon your Instagram today when looking at local bathroom companies in Norwich and love the brick wall shower you posted last week. Major bathroom envy on that one. I own Renault Reach, a local lead generation agency for Norfolk home improvement businesses based on what I've seen, NBK. So we're called NBK. Some of on your Instagram today and love the brick wall shower you posted last week. Major bathroom envy on that one. Okay, so that's gonna grab their attention. I own Renault Reach, a local lead generation agency for Norwich home improvement businesses. Based on what I've seen, 
own run and reach a local lead gen agency. Okay. Hey. Stumbled upon your Instagram today and loved the brick wall shower you posted last week. Major bar from envy on that one. I own Renault Reach, a local lead generation agency for the Norfolk home improvement industry. Based on what I've I've seen of NBK, I'm confident I can get you another five quote ready jobs in the next 30 days or you wouldn't pay anything. Would you be against a quick call over the next few days to discuss? No obligations, you can implement my ideas yourself if you like. Have a great day, Jordan Platten, Managing Director of Renault Reach. You could argue that you could move these two around. Based on the personalization, I think it wouldn't flow well. So if I say Major Bar from Envy on that one, based on what I've seen of MBK, I'm confident I could get you. So you could, uh, should we move them around? Let's see what, how that reads. Major Bar from Envy on that one. Based on what I've seen of MBK, I'm confident I can get you another five quote ready jobs in the next 30 days so you wouldn't pay anything. I own Renault Reach, a local lead generation agent for the North Home Fruit industry. Would it be against a, a quick a call over the next few days to discuss, to discuss ideas, to discuss? Okay, cool. Now I'm happy with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, paste the email in, subject line, I'm gonna do quick question for Honestly, I have tested out thousands of subject lines over the years in various sales jobs. Quick question for first name still works the best. Um, correct me if you found anything better, but this is elite. So I'm gonna copy that email so it's easy for me to go again. I'm gonna hit send, it's our first email done. I'm gonna go through and I'll start going through the rest of these companies. Now it's a lot quicker in theory, know that we're, now that we know kind of how we're doing this. First of all, we've got I wouldn't paste the email until afterwards because you might accidentally send it, Atlantic. Okay, let's do the same thing. Find an Instagram, it's normally at the bottom. Okay, oh, cool, that green kitchen is memorable. 38 weeks ago though, that's a long time ago. 38 weeks ago, Jesus. Okay, well it's still memorable. They need a social media management service for sure. And love the green cabinets. Major kitchen envy on that one. Love the green cabinets you fitted. Major, major, no, dark. What was it, dark green? Yeah. Someone upon your Instagram today and love the dark green cabinets you fitted. Major kitchen envy on that one. Based on what's seen of Atlantic, I'm confident I can get you. I own Renault Reach. Okay. You could mention, some people would mention here that you tried to call them. Now with this lead, I missed this note, it actually says, um, said that they're busy from industry reputation. So this is one of those where I'm basically just reaching out for the future. I actually called up today and spoke to who said, explained that you guys are extremely busy at the moment. Great problem to have. Thought I would drop a drop a quick email over in case anything changes in the future or if you look to expand further. Hey, I stumbled upon your Instagram today and love the dark green cabinets you fitted. Major kitchen envy on that one. Based on what I've seen of Atlantic, I'm confident I could get you another five quote ready lead jobs uh, in the next 30 days or you wouldn't pay anything. I own Renner Reach, a local lead generation agency for the Norfolk Home Improvement Industry. I actually kept the call up today and spoke to who explained that you guys are extremely busy at the moment. Great problem to have. Glad to hear it. Thought I'd drop you a quick email in case anything changes in the future or if you look to expand further. Have a great day, Jordan. Okay, so we're keeping things amicable there. We're planting that seed for the future. <laughs> I'm just gonna actually use that subject line. I think that's quite nice. Okay, Instagram, yellow walls. That's pretty, pretty good. Love the yellow walls. I'll let you put there and then get it clean. Someone up on your Instagram today. L love the bedroom with the yellow walls you posted. Major bedroom envy on that one. Based on what I've seen of Angular bathrooms, I come back and get you another five quote ready. Wouldn't pay me anything. I own Renault Reach, a local lead generation agency for the home improvement industry. Bloody, bloody, blah. Quick question for. Slap the email address in and send it. You guys get the picture at this stage, so I'm just gonna carry on now, just sending the rest of these out. Okay, all done. So I've added two extra columns to the lead list track when I initially cold called and when I initially sent an email. Uh, now, typically speaking, if I was actually doing this for an agency I was looking to scale and I wanted to be as efficient as possible, I'd be using a tool like instantly.ai or Lemlist or GMAS to automatically follow up on these emails, okay? But I wanted to keep things the most simplistic form uh, stripped back so I'm not using any hacks, tips or tricks or softwares on this series right now to just show you how simple it can be to actually sign up clients. If you want all of those things, have a look at our 
program or if enough of you comment below, I'll create videos on those systems and automations. But for now, we've sent it all automatically. It's also gonna make sure that we've got the highest deliverability rate on our email as well. Typically, you wanna make sure you warm your emails for two weeks, but because we've only sent 20 or so emails, uh, we shouldn't have any issues with deliverability. But if you're planning on sending 20 a day, over the course of a couple of weeks, you might fall into spam. So you wanna warm your email on a software like Instantly or Lemlist to start off with. Now, another final thing that I've done uh, whilst I just finished there is I created the pipeline on Go High Level for Renault Reach. Now the pipeline is where we manage the different stages that a lead is in. So when we initially outreach and before we've heard back from a lead, they're gonna stay on our lead list. When they respond to us, that's when we move them onto our pipeline. So typically we put them then in the new lead stage or the conversation stage. We then also have a ghosting stage where if they stop responding to us, we know we need to follow up. We have the appointment set stage with all of the meetings that we've got lined up over the next uh, seven days and we've got no show cancellation and we also have a few more in here as well negotiations we've gone back and forth on price so after the first meeting we've got client closed and then nurturing nurturing flow is where we put people in a drip feed this is something we do in our agency over a period of time uh, to reignite them nurture them basically so i've got meetings booked in for more over the next seven days i kind of didn't anticipate that i wouldn't just be able to book everyone in on the same day uh, but it doesn't really matter because what five meetings realistically not all of them going to show up i'd be happy if two or three show up three would be good and even if all five show up it's still going to be what maximum of four hours on the phone so it's all still condensed down into one day's worth of video which keeps us on track so guys i think you can tell i'm a little bit exhausted it's been a very long day we've crammed a lot in right now i've now got to jump on a live q a session group coaching call with our private community of agency owners in the affluent academy so i hope you've enjoyed this episode cannot wait to jump on these meetings and close a client and go through that process with you been a fun one i'll see you all soon Cheers. You'd be paying us 800 every month and you'd be paying Facebook 800 every month. So what happens if it just doesn't work? I completely yeah. understand. I'm a complete stranger. I only called you a few days ago. We, we barely got acquainted, right? I'd like to believe that we'll build a friendship throughout working together if we do. But um, I completely understand your hesitation. That's why I have the guarantees in place. I don't want to have difficult conversations. We have a 30 day guarantee, happiness guarantee. You can get out at any point. If you wanted to get out halfway through the month, you can leave. I don't want to waste my time just as much as you don't want to waste your money. Oh, that's wrong. Okay, yeah. So, why don't we do it?